In this lesson, we will look at the Google Apps Script IDE and write the obligatory Hello World application. First, go to script.google.com. If this is the first time you have launched Apps Script, you may see a splash screen. Feel free to dismiss it. The IDE looks like a simple version of what you have seen if you've used Visual Studio or Xcode. We have a file explorer on the left, and we'll be making projects with multiple files very soon. The IDE has created one file for you, code.js, but don't let the code, but don't let the .js extension fool you. The code is just JavaScript, and we'll prove it later. To the right of the file explorer is the editor. The editor supports syntax highlighting, code completion, and will highlight matching braces and parentheses. Then at the top we have a menu bar and toolbar with some familiar functions and a few new ones that we'll use soon. So we'll look at those features later on, but for now, let's get Hello World out of the way. So first, I'll select all of the code in the editor and delete it, and then I'll start this simple function. On the next line, I'll type capital L O and then press control space. A menu appears with the possible symbols that match what I typed. I want the logger service so I can either use the arrow keys to highlight and select it or I can click it with the mouse. Next I'll type a dot. The IDE will show me a list of members of the logger service and I want the first log method. I'll log the string hello world finish off the function, and save the project. The IDE supports many keyboard commands, such as Ctrl-S or Command-S for saving, and the first time that you save, you'll be prompted for a name for the project. And that's all the code we need, but how do we run the project? JavaScript doesn't have the concept of a main method, so we need to tell the IDE what we want to use as the entry point. All of the functions in the currently open project are in this drop-down. Right now, there's only one function, so it is automatically selected. It will be the first function called when I click the Run button, which I'll go ahead and do. The small yellow pop-up means that it's running, and in this case, if it looks like nothing happened, then it probably worked. So where are the log messages? We need to go to View, Logs, and a dialog with the logs will come up and we'll see hello world. Now one limitation of running applications like this is that the function we select as the entry point cannot have any arguments. So if we wanted to say hello to a particular person like this, we would have to refactor our code to include a test function and it could be called anything and then it will call the function that expects an argument. Then I'll save the project, select the test function, and click run again. Open the logs, and we'll see that it worked. So in the next lesson, we'll look at how the IDE supports JavaScript and see the debugger in action.